Good morning guys. Hello. I'm so tired this morning. I'm literally fresh from Paris and me and Rachel are going to go work out. We're going to a gym class today. Um, Rachel's done it before. I've never done it so I feel like she's taking me along with her. It's a gym class called Tribe and Rachel said she much prefers it because there's like bike biking involved, there's running, there's floor work. So we're starting off the Monday morning right? Well, some may say right i think it's wrong because paris has literally killed me off but i'll tell you about that later but i'm just waiting for her now and then we're gonna go work out and i'm not gonna lie i'm semi dreading it let me see if that's gonna is that gonna stick no <laughs> no where should i park down where we normally park for zoom I think. yeah we've still got another five minutes and they'll wait for us rach did a try the other day and you said you preferred it right i just thought like the overall vibe of tribe was let's not hit the curve <laughs> was just a bit more like pleasant and enjoyable it yeah. wasn't so like i'm dreading this okay like, while i was going through it i was like oh this is this is nice and it's yeah. a bit more so all the stuff that i don't like to do but you're a fucking beast at it anyway but like <laughs> I've, all the stuff i didn't grown. like to do was a bit more like split up and it was a bit more like doable yeah well i dread going to barry's so hopefully this is like a new oh, i'm on a pre-workout pre-workout makes me like tingle well, I'm um, ready to single. It's ready to single, right? Okay, we're gonna go do a tribe class. So, pray for us. <laughs> Been goes to Paris Fashion Week one time, and so I know. <laughs> Guys, it's literally paparazzi outside. I'm excited. I'm scared. Ooh, yeah. we're in for a treat, will oh, Actually, I'm coming here every day. I know, literally. Wellness. Crazy, so I can have double oh yeah, Rachel's on double pre work. You're gonna be going, you see like jittery. <laughs> I don't know whether I like that or not. It's like, I'm not a fan. How was yours? Well, it's down. <laughs> That's all we don't come back up. <laughs> literally woke up so late this morning um so i couldn't actually start the vlog properly it's monday morning and i got back from paris yesterday paris fashion week was literally the best time of my life i was probably sleeping like two hours a night i was eating one meal a day like it was so fast paced not like obviously i wasn't doing that stuff on purpose but i was going to shows after parties it was so good the only problem is i didn't vlog and i really wanted to i had every intention of vlogging when i got there but number one i could not be that uncool person like pulling a camera out and vlogging like i wanted to look mysterious i wanted to sit there enjoy the show with my glasses on and me bringing out a camera and vlogging is just not giving mysterious vibes it's giving influencer I didn't want to be there as an influencer. I wanted to be there as a fashion girly. So um, I didn't end up vlogging and I was around people. Guys, I was literally around Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks, like she would judge me so hard if she saw me vlogging. So I didn't do that, but it was literally just the most incredible trip ever. We've just ordered some lunch, which Emmanuel is bringing in now. Thank you, baby. I need to sort my life out because I've got so much work on. My washing machine's broke. So can you imagine, I've got this big suitcase full of clothes that need washing and the washing machine's broke. So I think today is just gonna be a bit of an errand day and we're also just about to start watching Love Island. We've been trying to avoid spoilers, but from what I've seen on Instagram, or like the little clips, it looks fire this year. Also, we ordered from Morrison's Market Kitchen. If you guys have one of these near you, you have to try it. Like, I don't know what made us try this one day, but the food is like restaurant quality. It's so good, I'll show you. So I get this steak salad. It's like got rice in there, slaw, like different veggies. It's so good. And then Manny got this ciabatta with chicken. Probably shouldn't have started the vlog today. I probably should have waited till tomorrow because I think today I'm just gonna have 
a get life sorted day because I've come back to a lot. I think I'm just going to have a bit of an errand day. Um, I've had some deliveries that were meant to be delivered before Paris and they didn't come in time. But I've had these um, pants delivered from a brand called Mercy and I love silver. I've been loving silver and the fact that people are now jumping on the bandwagon, I'm like, thank you. I needed silver to have its moment. I feel like gold's really had its thing and now I'm ready for silver. Um, but I saw these silver pants and I thought they were really cool, but they just didn't come in time. So I'm going to have to wear them on another occasion. I feel like I've got a lot coming up though. Like January is usually hit or miss. It's either really busy or really quiet. But this one is a busy January, which I'm kind of not mad at. I'm also having my unit for this wall being delivered. I think that's being delivered today. So if it is, then I can set that up as well. A good morning. Manny actually fixed the washing machine this morning. So thank you to Handy Manny. So I got all of my errands done yesterday. I also got my nails done and I got some little Frenchies. I just wanted something really classic and neutral and I feel really like feminine. I've also got French on my toes as well, which is the best. Like having French on your toes is just different, but I really like... I really like this manicure. Today, I'm not gonna lie, I've woke up and I feel like shit. Nothing's triggered it. I'm really happy in general life. Like there's nothing going on that would make me unhappy. So why do I feel like this? I don't know. But I'm gonna try and make myself feel better today. I do have a little bit of work on. So I'm gonna go shoot with the Looks to Kill girls. And then, after that, I don't think I have anything in particular. Like, I've got some TikToks to film and stuff. But apart from that, like, I can just focus on making myself feel better. So I've actually booked to go and see the new Babylon movie tonight, which looks insane. The trailer looks insane. And Margot Robbie's in it. And Margot Robbie is, like, my favourite. So I'm excited for that. But, yeah, I just, I feel like crap, bro. I don't know what's going on. So, hopefully, by the end of the day, I'm feeling somewhat better. But, yeah, today's going to be a content day. So, I'm going to go finish off getting ready. I've just done my makeup. And I do have a little bit of a new makeup routine, even though I've only just filmed one. But this is, like, obviously more of my glam makeup for when I'm shooting Instagram images. I need to go and also style the pieces that I'll be shooting, which I've not really got time. I've got 20 minutes before I need to leave. Um, I need to do my hair as well. That's the one thing, like trying to change up your hair when you're shooting content, because I've got six outfits to shoot. Oh, that's quite a lot. And that's a lot of hair changes as well. When you've got all of these outfits, you want to make it look like it's on different days. Guys, trying to shoot in Manchester is, how do you do it? I don't know. So Your nice. pictures always look so good, but it's so grey and miserable. Still. Yeah, it really is. We've just tried shooting in the Allen and we was getting the weirdest looks, especially from the manager. The manager came over and was, was like, so rude. What did he say? I'm head of food and drink. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't the vibe, but I feel like there's nowhere to shoot content here And this is why I need to be away for the whole of summer yes. It's so much easier in a different country, isn't it? Like Literally. even in Paris everywhere's just so, even though it's still grey everywhere's just so much prettier but I'm gonna go and look for another location now because that just was not the vibe. We did get like four outfits done, so yeah. I've just got back from shooting. We was actually out for quite a few hours, um, but it started getting dark, so we ended up coming back. But I feel so much better now I'm starting to get back on top of work. I think that's why I was feeling a little bit rubbish before, because I think I've just got so much to do that I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I'm about to get some more done as well, because I do have some TikToks for Elemis. Which is really exciting actually, like now I'm getting these TikTok jobs, especially with brands like Elemis. This is like another, what's, what's the word, not a stepping stone, like another, what, what is that? Like something else to tick off the list. Now I'm getting these TikTok jobs, you know what I mean? My work for the day is officially done. I'm clocking out, I'm signing off. I'm even thinking, because we're going to go to the cinema now. Um, it's like half seven and the film starts at eight. I'm even thinking I might just leave my phone at home 
because obviously me being on my phone is kind of like me being like at work not at work but my phone is my work so when I'm on my phone I'm thinking about work so I kind of just want to leave my phone at home I want to throw a tracksuit on I'm not even trying to do a fit right now like I know it's date night we do class date nights cinema nights as date nights but even though it's date night I just want to be cozy so I'm going to put a tracksuit on and just be comfortable I'm so excited to watch this movie although we've not had dinner yet and I'm thinking I don't really like the everyman menu because it's just like burgers and pizza but I'm not really feeling that right now so I think we'll probably get a kebab on the way home <laughs> also I've just got this new chrome hearts card holder thing how cute this color is so beautiful um i've got it out purposefully because i keep forgetting to put my cards in here but i thought i'd show you it's a nice little card holder because i always lose my cards i always have like single cards in my pockets and stuff so yeah i'm gonna put all of them in there but i'll i'm gonna leave that there so i don't forget um right tracksuit <laughs> This is the cozy date night fits. I'm even wearing my glasses because I genuinely can't see otherwise. Do you remember when we watched Avatar in 3D and I had to double glass? Oh yeah. I was, I needed to see that in like the best vision I could possibly see it in. I feel like we've been looking for a good movie for a while. Like we keep trying all of these movies. We watched one, was it last night we watched it? Or the other night? It was on Sunday night and it was really giving until the very end the very end the ending was just so bad like nothing was explained i don't know so i'm excited to watch a movie that's actually supposed to be really good i never think i want popcorn until i get here and i'm like yeah i do i do want popcorn but i feel like do you reckon it's actually the popcorn smell babe or do you think it's like the yeah diffuser because basically we we was walking through london one time and we passed this sweet shop and the reason we went in the sweet shop was because of the smell it just smelled incredible and we were saying to the guy like what is that smell what can we buy that is that that is that smell and he was basically like diffusing the smell of candy out of the shop to like draw people in and to be fair it did work because we did go in but i think every man do that with the popcorn because it literally just smells incredible. But anyway, we're here. I'm gonna go watch Babylon. We've brought snacks with us. Because I just don't really like the everyman menu, apart from the popcorn. <laughs> Guys, that movie, first of all, was like three hours long, but worth every second. Like with Avatar, that was also three and a half hours long, but for me like it was really good but i don't think i could watch it again whereas that one i would watch it over and over again like it was a 12 out of 10 must watch have to go watch it although i have decided now like that's confirmed to me margot robbie is my favorite actress she is just incredible 10 out of 10 well 12 out of 10 movie and you have to go watch it it's currently half 11 we're walking home and we're going to order mcdonald's so see you in the morning for a gym class <laughs> after eating a mcdonald's doesn't really make sense although it does balance yeah good night god bless good morning guys hello i'm just about to make my coffee um i feel so much better today i think it's because i've gotten a lot of work done now it's a little bit of a weight off my shoulders i don't know whether that's just me but like when i've got a lot on my plate i just get very very overwhelmed and the movie I even had a dream about it. I had a dream about Margot Robbie. I had a dream about Brad Pitt. Like it was so good. Highly recommend. Although it is an 18. So if you're under 18, maybe don't watch it. And maybe don't watch it with your parents or like, I don't know. Cause there's a lot of scenes in there that even me and Manny was like, watching this around people is quite awkward. Um, I'm just making a coffee. I'm actually so excited for today because me and Rach are going to have a little girl's day. We're going for a Galentine's dinner later. Um, we're going with Ego, so that'll be really fun. But we said that we wanted to do like a little day together. So we're going to go to a Pilates class and then we're going to go grab lunch. To be fair, I actually don't know what it is. I think it's like a dinner slash 
apparently we're watching a movie but it's at a restaurant so i don't really know how that's gonna work i don't know whether it's like a a private cinema room i actually don't know but i'm really excited i'm excited to see what ego are gonna do i always love ego events as well i put cinnamon on the top this morning and that was a excellent idea also i've just bought this on amazon i bought this little dispenser everyone's probably got one but it makes me feel like a barista in the morning the pilates fit today is a looks to kill two piece that i've just got this is their new movement set and the top is gorgeous it's definitely giving like cute pilates girl because it's like completely backless this is also one of the things that we shot yesterday um, so I'm going to wear this, but I do want to go shopping afterwards. I want to run to Selfridges because there's a perfume that I want. So I need something that's going to be a bit warmer. I was thinking I kind of want to wear my furry boots. I mean, I think I still need something warmer than this because it's so dark outside today. Like it looks freezing. That's the best thing about Pilates. Like I obviously shower as soon as I come back, but you don't really sweat that much. Like you don't, I don't sweat at all. In fact, if I go to a Barry's class, I'm not going anywhere but the shower after Barry's because I'm literally dripping in sweat. This is the set. I mean, you can't see the bottom, but the bottoms are just leggings. But look at the back. It's so cute and I didn't think it would be practical but it literally doesn't move anywhere like because it's nice and tight keeps everything secure it's just I don't know it's like the perfect Pilates outfit probably wouldn't wear this to go and like run it is more of like a cute like Pilates thing you know we're being full Pilates girls today. Matcha, mad style. Stop, have you never had a matcha? I've had a matcha frat, but they don't count. Oh, <laughs> they look so cute. We're really being Pilates, matcha, and we've ordered these like, sorry, I'll come around this way. Yeah, we've got ordered salad bowls. Well, and then the green lab, so I definitely yeah. a green drink. And I feel like green this is fit. like very LA. Like even the decor and everything is like given a leg. I'm feeling very clean, girl. Mm -hmm. And then we're probably gonna go out later and drink two bottles balance. of wine. It's all about <laughs> Got these. These are um, coconut matcha lattes with vanilla syrup. We tried it. The coconut gives. It's, it's bloody lovely. It looks bloody lovely. It's really giving health. What <laughs> We've are these? got. What do we make? I don't. I think that might be the dressing, but that's definitely not what I asked for. I was gonna say you asked for hot sauce. I mean, it tastes nice anyway, so I'll probably go get some. Um, so I've got chicken, cauliflower, some salad under there, cucumber, sweet corn, chilies, and pickled ginger. Which I could eat buckets of this. This is delicious. Oh my god, I ordered pancakes. Not pancakes, French toast. <laughs> I also ordered French toast, which I forgot about. I just had this spur of the moment thing where I was like, I need something sweet as well. This cauliflower is delicious. I've left Rach and I'm kind of in the mood to go shopping. I want to go pick up that perfume I was telling you about before, but I want some Olaplex for my hair because my hair's looking a little bit dry. I'm just in the mood to shop. I want to kill some time, so I'm going to have a little look around Selfridges and maybe Zara because I know Zara's got some new stuff in at the minute and it looks fire. Why does the Zara sale after Christmas feel like it's never ending? Because the whole of the bottom floor and half of the top floor is still sales. Like, I need the new stuff and I can't see it. Oh my god, these bags are cute. I mean, these are the only nice things I've actually seen. We're still very much in that weird mid-season sale where it's not really given just yet. Although, this is what I'm saying online, there was actually a lot of nice denim. I think Iris Law was modelling for them and the things she was modelling were gorgeous. So, I'm just going to go home and look. The creepiest mask ever, but don't be alarmed, it's not Michael Myers, it is still me. Um, I'm going to show you what I got from Selfridges. I was just in the mood after buying skincare to do some skincare because I can't remember the last time I did a mask or a hair mask. I've really just been neglecting my self-care recently, so I'm trying to make myself feel a little bit better. But I'll show you what I got. I don't know whether I'm going to do a TikTok using this new makeup and then do like a 
kind of like a reaction video or whether I'll just use them tonight because I'm so impatient like I want to try them now especially this which the girl in MAC really sold to me because she was basically saying it's like a tacky base for makeup it's the MAC Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm and as it's apparently a moisturizing cream it's got like hyaluronic acid in here it's also like it looks a little bit like strobe cream do you see what I mean like it looks really oh my god I'm gonna have to wear this tonight I can't wait to try this I also got this NARS light reflecting eye and lash gel eye and lash gel so not only is it like an eye serum because I'll put it on before I do my makeup under my eyes but she said if you put it on your lashes before you go to bed then it helps your eyes eyes to grow eyelashes to grow so this is what it looks like it's just like a a gel picked up some Olaplex as well which I completely forgot about I was gonna put on my hair but it's already done and dusted so I'll do it on Sunday and then I also wanted to try the NARS Laguna bronzing cream I've seen a couple of TikToks about this and apparently people love it so I thought I'd give this a go as well and I love how they look when they're brand new I'm gonna go sit on the sofa let this mask do its thing and then I'm gonna start getting ready for the night Okay, I did end up filming the TikTok using the new makeup products and this from MAC is incredible. I'm going to link it down below because you all need it. It is like the... Why do I keep saying Luida? I keep saying that to people like the Luida skin food. The Walida skin food. I feel like I put quite a lot of people on that and this is like that on crack because it actually comes like glowy as well. So if you like glowy skin and you like the Walida skin food, you'll love this. It's incredible and my skin just looks so good. I did get a concealer that's too light though, so forget it. Um, I need to go and put an outfit together though because Ego was meant to send me something and I forgot to choose from the list. So I'm gonna have to put one of my own outfits together, but I do have a pair of boots from Ego that I'll probably put on with the outfit. So yeah, me and Rachel are actually running really late, so I need to go get dressed. Also, I've done my makeup slightly different. I've gone for baby lashes today. I didn't want to put too much mascara on and I didn't want to put lashes on. And I don't know how I feel. I feel like I wanted the focus to be on my skin and lips. And suddenly it's, I don't know whether it's giving. Oh, the lighting in here is very orange. I'm currently sat, I'm not on the toilet, but I'm sat on the toilet because the girls have brought me a dress. Also, I have clocked that brands have now started telling girls an hour early because me and Rachel have just turned up. It started at six, we turned up at seven and no one's even sat down yet. Like everyone's still in the foyer talking. So I feel like the brands are now clocking on that we're just always late. Um, but this is a dress that I'm gonna put on. It's like a halter neck, floral, dress it's a good job i put boots on because i feel like the boots that i've got on will really go with this but i'm gonna throw this on and i'll show you how it looks okay the first outfit was literally covering half my bum cheek so i've gone with this one and it's really cute it's like a black two-piece it's got these like frilly side pieces it's very cute it's giving and it actually goes really well with the boots as well so this is the outfit my hair goes with the room Shopping. <laughs> Why did I just pick the bags up to like walk onto set 
Um, good morning. <laughs> I've just been to Barry's and there's something very dangerous about where my Barry's is located. I've got a Marks and Spencer's next door and I always seem to just wander in. I only wanted a couple of things and ended up spending £50. I'll show you what I got from Marks and Spencer's, a little food haul. I'm gonna try and grow a booty, like not like a big one. I just want a little bit more substance there. So this is a very high protein chop um eggs <laughs> i've got some rice because we love these like um indian curries from marks and spencers i've already got one so i've just picked one up for money i've got some hummus some more rice cucumber courgette <laughs> very healthy um some soup this one is incredible some kiwis. I got this as, I don't know what just flew out. I got this as a putting away the food snack, which I always get every time I go shopping, I always get a snack for while I'm putting the food away. This is the best watermelon I've ever had. Like, I don't know, I don't know if it's like watermelon season, but these literally taste like sweets. I'm gonna try coconut milk because I've been seeing all over TikTok that oat milk's not the best for you. And for as much as I'm not gonna cut it out because I really do love oat milk, I'm gonna try coconut milk. I think this will be better in smoothies and stuff rather than almonds. So I thought I'd give that a go. I've got some salmon. This is such a throwback. I've literally not had these in years. My mum used to get them all the time when I lived at home. So I thought I'd try these ones. These are salted caramel flavor as well. And I used to put these in the microwave and they melt. In fact, I'm gonna have that one of these after lunch because Manny's never had them before. But these, wow. Coleslaw, broccoli. I've got some smoked salmon. I have a love-hate relationship with smoked salmon. I feel like I go through phases where I'll have it all the time and then it repulses me and I won't touch it for months. But now I'm, I'm feeling like I'm ready to test it out again. I've got some avocados, some prawns and bananas. So I feel like for 50 pounds, actually that's quite good. Anyway, I'm gonna put this away and I need to make some lunch. I was actually planning on filming for the rest of the day, but I've just been booked on a job tomorrow, which was really last minute. And I plan tomorrow to just sort my apartment out because as you can see, or as you could probably tell in the background of this vlog, my apartment is just a mess. Like I feel like everything's just everywhere. So I'm gonna sort everything out. And I've just had a definite delivery date for my unit, it's coming tomorrow. So I definitely need to like have a re jig around in here. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, but thank you guys so much for spending the week with me so far. Um, I think I might even vlog over the weekend, but do it as like a separate vlog, or maybe I was thinking about filming a drive with me just so we can like properly catch up on life, I guess. Although I kind of did that in this video, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video.